Okay, we're going to do a chainsaw cleanup and service today. Uh, you need a little bit of simple green. I use some just regular motor oil that I got designated for this, a couple of brushes, and we're going to use the rigid shop back to clean it all up. First thing I'm going to do is take it apart and we're going to vacuum it all up. Okay, we've got it all apart now, so I'm going to fire up the vacuum cleaner and we're going to go over it right quick and get all the dust and debris that the vacuum can get off of it. soak the longest get all the pitch and junk off of that chain the other thing I'm going to do I'm just going to pitch this in there then your bar I'm going to let all these soak for just a little while while we do that I'm going to pay a little attention to this area right here I'm going to take a stiff brush just get that all a little wet so we can start taking that off. Sometimes some of this stuff needs to soak for a little bit, but it'll eventually come right off of there. Let that soak. 
pull this out. Let's scrub your brake area. And this will actually start to kind of turn everything loose. And then I'm going to let it soak just a little bit. I'm going to pick this up. Get as much of this off of there as you can. Now this particular saw is not going to be used again for another week or two. As we just do work on the weekends most of the time. So uh, I've drained all the fuel out of it. And uh, so I'm going to just set this up so that all i got to do is... Uh, Add some fresh fuel to it and be ready to take down a tree with it. A little maintenance like this once in a while goes a long ways to making them productive when you need them. You can see quite a bit of pitching gum right here. It takes it right off. set for about 10 or 15 minutes longer and then we'll come back and we'll pull all this out and just rinse it with clear water dry it off and then I'll show you how I clean the chain okay I just did a, a clean water rinse and we need to make sure that everything's out of the rails. If you see anything down in there, you need to get down in there with a little small screwdriver and clean those. Make sure your oil holes are clear. I've got one right there that I need to go into with a, with a little screwdriver and get that out. But anyway, you set them up like that and just let it drain off. You can see it came out nice and clean. What we're going to do now is clean the chain. This one doesn't have a whole lot of use on it, but it's definitely dirty. I don't think it's quite ready to be sharpened yet, but it definitely can be cleaned. I don't know if you can tell how dirty that chain is, so we can do a comparison after it's been scrubbed and soaked for a little bit. Takes it right off.
if you let it soak long enough, you really shouldn't have to scrub too hard at all. It normally just comes right off of there with this little brush. You can see how that's coming out real quickly there versus areas I haven't done yet. Okay, we got our chain cleaned up really nice now, and it didn't take long. I might have spent 10 minutes on it, but uh, it looks almost like new at this point. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and just rinse it in some fresh water, get all the soap and suds off of it, and then I'm going to hang it and let it dry. Um, I also went back to the bar. I have a little bitty eyeglass. Uh, tool that I use and I got in there and made sure that these oil holes are don't have anything in them because that's where your oil gets to your chain and make sure that the link is good and clear everywhere on both sides so anyway what I'm going to do at this point normally is just take the bar especially if it's going to sit for a little while and I'm just going to give it a light coat WD-40 and I'll probably come back and just wipe that off with a rag before I assemble it. Okay, our chain is been hanging for a little while now and it's pretty much dry. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some oil in an ordinary butter bowl. Now I reuse this oil over and over. We're gonna take our chain Work it around a little bit. And just drop it down into that oil. Make sure it gets works down to any of the links. And I've done this with uh, the with chains in the past that have set for six months and uh, you can leave your chainsaw for a long time. You don't have to worry about your chain rusting up if you're not going to use your chainsaw for a while. So anyway, we're going to let that sit for just a little bit and soak. And then what I'll do after that is I'll hang it over the bowl, let all the excess oil run off of it. We'll pour the excess uh, or the leftover oil back in the bottle. And uh, then we'll be ready to put our chainsaw back together. Okay, so now that we've got our chain ready and oiled up, what I normally do, I, I try to keep two chains for each one of my chainsaws. Um, 
is I'll take my other chain and I'll go ahead and assemble my saw. And at this point, the machine's ready to be put up. And when you're ready for it, put some fresh fuel in it. Put your bar hole in. And you get a machine that's ready to do good work for you. Hope this helps somebody out there. And thanks for viewing.